All right. So something about the power of the test. So testing the power of the test. All right. Now let's check this out. So um, can a six-month exercise program increase the total body bone uh, mineral content, TBBMC, of young women? A team of researchers is planning a study to examine this question. The researchers would like to perform a test um, of means. Okay, so they're going to do this. So they have the alternative where the mean will actually equal zero. So they're they're saying that there is no difference. Um, and then they have the alternative where the mean is going to be greater than zero. Where the mean is true mean zero or where zero or blah, blah, mu is a true mean percent change in TBBMC during the exercise program. All right, so they gave us a parameter. That's our parameter. They give us our hypothesis test, all right, right here. And so the power of this test to conduct the mean increase in TB of 1%, okay? So 1%. Um, using significant level of that in a um, sample size of 25 subjects is here. So this right here is our power, okay? Okay, so, so what do we find here? Well, let's interpret this value. Assuming... All right, assuming um, the, the true mean increase is uh, in, increase in, in TBBMC, all right, uh, the power of the test to to dictate a mean increase of TB of 1%. So assuming the true mean increase of TB um, is 1%, then the probability <clears throat> um, then the probability of finding Convincing evidence. Convincing evidence that all right, the mean is greater than zero is the power of the test, eighty percent. Okay, eighty percent. Okay, the probability of finding convincing evidence that the mean is greater than zero is eighty percent. All right. Or the, what is the mu? The mu is the um, mean percent change in TBC during the exercise program. Okay. So that's what we know there. Okay. That's what we have. Now, find the probability of type 1 error and the probability of type 2 error for the test in question 1. So find this probability of type 1 error <coughs> is actually equal to alpha, or in this case, is going to be 0 0.05. Type 2 error, as we know, all right, type 2 error. Is going to be one minus the power of the test. So in this case, 0 0.8. So it's going to be 0 0.2. So the percent of type 2 error is 20%. For type 1 error is 0.05%. Now determine whether the following should would change would increase or decrease the power of the test. Explain your answer. Well, right here, um, in this one, we use 0 0.0 instead of that. Well, because um, we are decreasing alpha 2.01 then the power of the test will also decrease. All right, and that's what we know there. And then finally, um, if we increase the sample size, so if we increase the sample size to all right, to 100, then we would increase the power, all right, as well. All right, that's what we know. All right, that's what we know. So that is the power of the test. That is what we were talking about. So when we talk about power of the test, assuming the true mean is um, whatever you found for your test, assuming that is true, there is a what type of probability of finding convincing evidence for the alternative, all right?
um, whatever the alternative hypothesis is. All right, that is the power of test. Assuming that the true mean is true, or, or the true mean of the statistic is true, there is a whatever probability of finding the convincing evidence for that. All right. <clears throat> so that is what we have. We know how to increase the power of the test in this. And so there we go. I hope this helps you out and answer some problems about power. I've got the power of the test. All right. God bless. See you later.